Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena here from DigitalLearner.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to review to you top five best crypto exchanges that you should consider using when it comes to trading features. And the reason for considering this exchange is number one is because of the low fee that this exchange is charges. Number two is because of how popular and secure these exchanges are. And then number three is how friendly the user interface of these exchanges are, both on the web version of it and on the app version of it. So if you are new to my channel and you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading investing, then consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. And just to emphasize this, um, subscription is actually free. It doesn't cost anything to do that. So just hit that subscribe button and the notification to be a part of my community. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Now, as I said earlier, things you need to consider when you want to start your crypto trading journey is, you know, the fee that this exchange charges. And I will demonstrate that to show you why you should be using um, these exchanges that I'm going to um, list out to you. And I'll be listing them according to their ranking on coin market cap. So I'll be listing these five exchanges according to their ranking on coin market cap. And then I will demonstrate why their low fee is something you should be uh, have at the back of your mind and start actually using this exchange so the first on my list here the first on my list is actually binance binance is a very popular exchange so binance meet up with all of the criteria of uh, being having a user friendly interface um, charging low fees when it comes to trading features and then you know being a secured and popular exchange so binance is number one on the list so links to sign up for each of these exchange will be in the video description so just go ahead and sign up using the link in the video description and if you sign up for any of these exchanges stand a chance of you know getting a lot of profit as a new sign up on any of this exchange and then the second one on the list here is oks exchange so the second on my list is actually OKS. You can go ahead and sign up for OKS and you equally have a ton of features on OKS. Like when you come in here to their finance, their end, and then they jumpstart. There are a lot of things you can actually achieve. But my focus in this video is for those who be trading features and, you know, considering the low fees that these exchanges charges, you need them to actually start trading crypto. And then the third on my list here is Huobi. As I said earlier, I'm listing this exchange according to their ranking on coin market cap, and I will show you that in a moment. And then the fourth one that you should consider using is Bybit. If you want to trade features, you want to trade crypto, and you want to pay low fee. If it, and why you should consider fee when it comes to trading crypto, you don't want to be like the same. My people normally uh, say that monkey they work and bamboo they chop. You don't want to, you know, labor, and at the end of the day, you pay everything through fee to the exchange you are using so that is why you need to consider exchanges that are charging very low fee and then the last on my list here is KuCoin I will show you all of these on coin market coverage so, so once again the five um, the five five best crypto exchanges to consider when you are trading features in terms of low fee is Binance OKS Huobi Bybit and then KuCoin so to actually demonstrate this if i come in here to my calculator here um i'm going to demonstrate this to show you what is possible and then what i'm starting my trading account i'm starting with just a thousand dollars if for instance if you have a thousand dollars in your trading account and the strategies that i've been implementing so far some of the strategies i've been implementing so far actually um, gives me between 70 to 80 percent win rate so i'm going to use 70 percent win rate Meaning that if we carry out a hundred trades, for instance, if we are having seventy percent win rate and we carry out a hundred trades, it means that we are having seventy of those trades as a you know a successful trade, a one trade, and then thirty of that will be losses. So that is what we are going to do here. And then the take profit ratio, I'm going to use zero point five, and then the stop loss will be zero point two. So that's what we are going to do here. The leverage, I will use twenty years for all of these exchanges. And I will show you how that works. So 20x is what I'm using. And the first exchange I will be demonstrating this with, which was what I showed you here, is Binance. So if I'm going with $1,000 trading account and I want to carry out 100 trades, and my win rate is 70% with a take profit of 0.5, with 20x leverage, if I go ahead and run this strategy, 
with Binance, you'll see that at the end of the day, I have carried out 100 trades, 100 successful trades, and then out of this 100 trades, since 70% is my win rate, I've won 70 of this trade. So what you'll notice here is that at the end of the day, I would have grown my $1,000 to about 11000 162 USDT carrying out a hundred trades with 70 of those trades being um, a successful one. So I would have grown a thousand dollars to about 11,162 if I'm doing this with Binance. And then the fee that I would have paid in, you know, what I would have paid in fee would have been this about 4,282. This is what I would have paid in fee. If I demonstrate this, let's say, okay, I go with, um, let me do this with Bybit, for instance. Now, the limit order fee for Bybit is 0, um, 0.0, that is, the limit order is minus 0 0.025, while the market order is uh, 0 0.07. That of Binance, for the limit order, you have 0 0.02 and the market order 0 0.04. And it continues like that. I will show you all of these different fee. Um, using coin market cap but to demonstrate this i will actually go um, demonstrate this let me use another exchange i've done this for binance so let me do it um, let's say buy bit so for buy bit this is what you have zero point the limit order is minus 0 0.025 and then the market order is 0 0.07 so if i run this strategy with buy bit you will see that i would have grown my um thousand dollars to about nine thousand to ten thousand dollars and then you would have paid all of this in fee so this is the amount of money you would have paid in fee that is why i say whenever you are considering any of these exchanges you consider those with fee because if you have an exchange that is charging higher than this you could lose all of your money in, in paying fee using that particular exchange and if i want to demonstrate this with another exchange let me equally use um let's use Huobi. So if I run this same strategy with Huobi, um, uh, Huobi charges almost the same thing with Binance. So if I go ahead and run this strategy, you will see that it gives us about $11,538 um, um, in, um, in, in, you know, as profit. You know, would have grown our $1,000 to about this. And then what would have paid in fees about $5,200. Now to show you all of this uh, actually with CoinMarketCap, Coin market cap is actually your go-to place when you want to know more details about the crypto, a particular crypto asset, or even the crypto exchange itself. And link to sign up for an account will probably be in the video description. You can use Coin Market Cap to manage your portfolio and do a lot of things. So, if I come in here to exchanges, we want to weigh this exchange according to their derivative trading statistics. So, if I come in here and click on derivatives. I'll go ahead and click on that. Under derivatives, where we have um, margin trading, features, perpetua, and the rest. So here you will see the ranking of these exchanges and their performance according to their performance, derivative performance. So the first one, as I mentioned earlier, is Binance, and then you have the maker fee, and then you have the taker fees. The maker and taker fees are what you I called. I mean, and, and on the calculation I showed you that it is a limit order and then a market order fee. So maker fee those who pay maker fees are those who are using a limit order and then those who pay ticker fees are those who are using market order so if you are using a market order the fee you pay at the end of your trade is actually the ticker uh, fee which is always higher than the maker fee and then if you are using a limit order the fee you pay is actually um, um, the maker fee which is always lower than the ticker fee so you see here on Binance, Binance charges 0.02% for maker fee and then they charge 0.04% for taker fee. If we go to the next exchange which I mentioned is OKS, OKS charges um, for their maker fee 0.02% and then for the taker fee they charge 0.05%. So you can go ahead and demonstrate all of this calculation. If you are having a 70% win rate and you carry out 100 trades and you win 7 70 out of that how much will you have grown your one thousand dollars to so you can see this based on their fee the third exchange i actually mentioned is uh Huobi. Huobi. now binance is ranking number one when it comes to derivative trading uh, OKS is ranking number two and then Huobi is ranking number four and what Huobi charges is 0.02 percent for maker fee and then 0.04 percent for taker fee then the next one i mentioned is bybit um, mentioned by bit so the fourth exchange here is by bit by bit charges you minus 0. 
025 as the maker fee and then they charge you um, 0 0.075 as the ticker fee and the last exchange that I mentioned there is KuCoin. KuCoin is ranking number 12 when it comes to derivative trading. So they charge, um, they are they actually charge this fee. I'm I'm not sure of that. I think it's 0.08% or thereabout. Um, they charge a flat rate actually in most cases, but I'm not sure. Those statistics are not are not here. KuCoin actually charges fees. It's not as if um, they don't charge fee for both maker and taker fee. So they charge fee, and um, those records are not actually here um, because. The reason for this could be because of the nature of the kind of um, trading activities that goes on with um, with KuCoin. On KuCoin, if you are trading with KuCoin, if you are trading features on KuCoin, you not see anything like isolated or cross margins. So those are the different you know methods you can trade actually with KuCoin. But yes, they equally charge a very low fee. And so these five exchanges I've mentioned actually charges very low fee when it comes to you know trading crypto and the rest. So if you want to sign up with any of these exchanges, link will be in the video description. And um, instead of user interface, yeah, their user interface is superb. Um, it's actually very friendly both on the web and on the app. It is good for beginners. You don't you know you don't you won't get stuck when using um, this platform. And these are popular exchanges that you know um, have securities for. They are users phones and so on so if you sign up for any of these exchanges actually you get bonuses most especially when you sign up for bybit you can get up to three thousand dollars as a welcome bonus when you make your first deposit so you can you know once you sign up you can come in here to um where you have uh, more and then you go to my rewards you'll see your rewards there if you make your first deposit you can get between from ten dollars to up to three thousand dollars and that of will be you can get up to three hundred dollars actually as a first sign up signing up for this platform there are a lot of bonuses you get that for okx for binance as you know when you sign up with any of this exchange using the link in the video description you stand to gain a lot from these exchanges so that is all i have for you in this video once again when you are using an exchange when you want to start your crypto trading journey there are a few things you need to consider and the number one is the fees that this exchange charge if not if you go with exchanges that charges very high fee no matter the number of leverage you are using except you are having 100 win rate of your trade if not you will pay everything into fee fee will eat up the whole money and at the end of the day you will be walking you know monkey Will be working and bamboo will be shopping so if you like this video if you gain value from this video give it a thumbs up the more you like this video um the more youtube recommend it to others and they can equally learn and know how to go about these exchanges in you know making and growing their crypto portfolio so that is all i have for you in this video and i'll see you in the next video